Okay, here we are, guys, for the pretty... I'm pretty sure it's going to be the last uh, hour of devastation draft I do, unless it's a flashback draft in the way, way future. Um, yeah, I kind of mistimed. I released all those pre-release guides, which were not the best. They were... I was trying to talk really fast to make the videos as short as possible, but I think I shouldn't have gone over every single card, and I should have gone through maybe the uncommons and the commons only, and maybe... A little bit more in depth. Uh, it's always just speed, speed as fast as I could. Uh, those videos, but yeah, I mistimed it, so I released all those yesterday. So obviously today is the twenty-first, uh, the twenty-second. So I'm gonna have no videos for today. Well, I will. You'll be seeing this today if you're gonna watch it. Uh, so I'm gonna release the draft portion today. Then all three games on Friday, and then it's I believe uh, Ixnan is released on Monday. So I'll record a draft then, and do, then we'll be back to the regular schedule of draft. Game 1, Game 2, Game 3, etc, etc, etc. And yeah, got to finish this. Before. I'm, I'm going to do this all in one go anyway, so I don't need that message. Um, wow, time of the queue here. I guess people that really uh, don't want to play Arrow Devastation. <coughs> but uh, I'm up for one more draft. I mean, it's a really fun format. But uh, oh, let's see who's uh, who's the king. Wow, well I beat... I beat some of these guys. I think I have two and a... Oh my god. One... I mean... Is that just volume? Or is he just that much better than the rest of these guys? Lord Tupperware! I, did I lose to that guy in my last draft? How can I check that? I could have sworn I lost the pen. I, Rolly Brown... Rolly, Rolo Tony Brown Town. Definitely lost to him. Wandering Asian. I mean, that's just my favorite name. I don't know. Um, I don't really recognize. Ooh, Dublin, respect, respect. Wait, ah, uh, Dubin, damn it. I thought that said Dublin. Clark Kent, that's a name. That's a good name. That's a, well, it's, oh no, it's Clark Sent. It's still pretty funny, actually. Faceballs, I feel like I got wrecked by Faceballs, which is pretty funny. Matt Diesel, Kevin the Relentless, it's a good name. Wildflower, pretty unassuming name, but a good name. This is an Ash Ashiok, that's pretty funny. Uh, I mean, uh, these are still impressive, the amount of undefeated trophies these have. I mean... Can I search my name? Oh, it says there, two. So, I mean, I'm happy to get two. Whoa, 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 why isn't this... Okay, here we go. Um, hmm. So, we've got Ronus last hand. Um, but, you know, tokens, uh, there's unsummon and... We bounced and I don't know. And you got bitterbow sharpshooters. You got unquenchable thirst, torment of venom, uh, unconventional tactics. Tactics if you're in the zombie deck. Um, this is pretty powerful. Two mana five four. You've done on tap next turn. And two drops are good. I'm tempted to take the unquenchable thirst though. Put my next person in green because this is a good card. Like, and it's also just one blue where it's double green. Hmm. Or I could take this. So for me, it's between these two here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's pretty good. So some kind of thirst. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll take that. Okay, let's see if we got the punish here. Nothing crazy in blue, so no uh, no punish there. Uh, this isn't a good two drop. Okay, three drop. There's another Inferno Jet. Formative Scarabs. I know can be very good. I mean, I played it in Sealed and it was very strong. Now they get to make choices, so it's obviously not the best. In late game, it's not great. And uh, this is a fast format. So, uh, Uh, open fire is good as well. Manolith, if we wanted a uh, color fixing, but I don't want to take this early. So I mean, for me, it's Tormina Scarabs, Open Fire, or Ronus is stalwart. I think Open Fire is probably a little bit better than this. <laughs> Tormina Scarabs, how good is this? Uh, I'm too scared of it. I'm just gonna take the Open Fire. So now, 
We see a late, okay, well, not a late, but I mean, third, third pick, Oketra's Avenger. We see a riddle form, so there's blue red spells open, which makes me want to, wanted to have taken the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Unquenchable Thirst. Aerial Guide's good as well. This is meant to be good, but I've never played it. Um, excuse me. Um, this is replaceable. I can get this later. This is okay. Replaceable. So these three cards here, uh, and the wall. You know, the wall's not no joke. Attempt to riddle form. Probably take riddle form just because it's a little bit better with um, blue red spells. So just on that alone. So now. What do we have? We got a Feral Prowler, Aven Reed Stalker, Proven Combatant, a Manolith, a Devotee of Strength, Kindled Fury, and a Rest Cat's Right. Um, I could just take the Manolith, or I could take a Devotee, or an Aven. Um, take a two drop. Um, do, 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 this is pretty tricky, I think. I guess I'll take this. Now we've got um, a Firebrand Archer, which is blue red spells again. None of these green cards are impressing me too much unless I wanted to splash for something. So I will. I mean, I could obviously take the Beneath the Sand and go three colors. Which is fine, good as well. Feral Prowler, not too interested. Although, you know, I would be interested in Feral Prowler if I had um, a bunch of them. Um, so there's a kind of a Bitterbow Sharpshooter, but there's also a second Firebound Archer, so I'm just going to take that. Uh, obviously, this is very powerful. As well, but we're not really an exert, exert deck, so I will take the sweet, sweet two drop. Uh, looks like we're getting past a bit of green here. Uh, counter wheels. I'll probably play like one counter wheels anyway. I could take the hippo, go back into green. I mean, that's only two blue cards anyway. Uh, <clears throat> and the hippo is quite strong. Well, it looks like I took the hippo there by accident, just clicking between the two. Uh, I probably would want this over it now that I see that I'm strategic planning on a Blur of Blades. I'll take the Blur of Blades. Um, this guy's quite solid, so I'll take this guy. Maybe cycle. So, how many cycles do we have? Not much, unfortunately. Two blue cards. So gift of strength. We'll take gift of strength. I mean, we're obviously red. Um, blue cards work. With, I mean, this works well with our non-creature spells of open fire and blur blades. Even restock is fine. Obviously, I wish I had um, instead of Ronus's last stand. Unquenchable thirst, then we could just be red blue. But I did see that late hippo, so I don't know. And the gift strength goes well with the firebound archers. For more non creature spells. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going down straight there. I'll take fruit light upstairs. I'll take it. Riddle form is pretty sweet with, you know, Blur Blades and Open Fire, you know, presumably more spells that we're going to get. But, Aim Reed Stalker, not the best card. So I could play green and green and red. So I think that's the last, that was the last pick. Unless magic's freezing on me, maybe. Uh, these are these are two non-creature spells as well, so you know that's actually pretty good. What is this look? That looks pretty good actually. 
Um, second of these. Second of these. Probably not gonna play two gift of strengths. Crash true. I'll probably play crash true. Put our guys in black if they want cycling. Take the land. Okay. Uh. Yeah. This is. This can get out of hand. Um, this is a great card for us. 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 <coughs> if we had taken the Torment Scarves, we could have two Torment Scarves in our deck, which would be pretty gross. Um, I'd love to take this, or this, or this, but I think we'd probably just have to take this and, and splash for uh, a Plains. Seems really, really powerful. Just... I mean, maybe we don't. Because we've got no splashing so far. So we could just take another one of these, and this, and this. But, this is a pretty good card here. I have no planes. Do I just splash a planes for it? I kind of hate that. But it is really good. Alright, fine, we'll take it. There was a lot of good stuff in that pack for us. Okay, what do we got here? What does this do? No black. Not many creatures, so I'll take it. this is a solid three drop actually. No blur blades, already have one blur blades. This guy's pretty good on the old attack. Take the trap of helmet for fixing, but this guy's pretty solid. And we were kinda low on creatures as well, so not the worst pickup. This guy cycles as well, so it's not like he's you know, unattainable. If we're like if we're stuck on lands we can cycle this guy away. Love a third one of these guys. Or girls, even. Oh, let me just check. Q, Q, damn it. Oh no. It's always a bad sign. Alright, close the count later. Maybe that'll help us. I don't know if you guys can see this, uh, this circle here, but that's a real bad sign. Okay. No! This is terrible. Why are you doing this to me, Magic Online? Oh my god. No, go away. Oh, that's so tilting. Oh, that's incredibly tilting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom, just remember that real long password. Easy games. Okay, I better still be in this draft here. Come on, Magic Online. Don't do this to me. I just gave you a load of ticks there for the upcoming season of Ixalan. Don't screw me like this. God, Magic, Magic Online is so expensive. I can't wait to... Uh... Where am I? Can I? Why isn't this like instantly loading? Um, I can't wait to... get the Magic Arena, because that will be free, presumably, with in-app purchases, which I'll be making none of. I'll be grinding that stuff. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, bruh. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably pretty lucky that this ha hasn't happened before in multiple videos. Or just in general when I'm playing offline. Or not offline, but... Oh, uh, you're gonna hit me with this? Oh, two islands. Thanks for the random picks. Oh, uh, what is this? 26 seconds. I'm on major tilt. I probably missed a bunch of good cards. Oh, great. Abandoned sarcophagus. Thanks very much. Uh, what else did they give us? That is actually just so tilting. Get out of here. Oh, they gave us a second Reed Stalker? Thanks. Um, okay, terrible, terrible, terrible for us. Oh, I guess we'll... I mean, maybe they open a Green Plains Walker. 
That is just real frustrating. We've only got 14 cards for our deck and we're already... Oh great, we're, we're back to... So I missed like every pack. Yeah, I missed literally, literally except for the last one. Oh, thanks. We've already seen this pack. Uh, well, this could get the planes for us. I'll take your granite titan. I want two granite titans. Probably want to kindle fury though. Ooh, ooh, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Gonna give that person a bomb manifestation. Oh my god, two bomb manifestations? Well, I take this because it's a rare. I take this because it's a cool land. Oh, so we missed like on most of that pack there. It's really frustrating. So we're gonna have to make our deck with uh So we auto pick this. I guess it didn't auto pick that much, but it's still frustrating. I don't know what we missed out on. I don't know how good these crashers are. Uh they're kind of desperation pickups. They're really good with Firebrand Archer, though. Because they ping you for one. Well, they're not really good. They're, they're okay. They ping, and then you get to replace with it. Yeah, this deck does not look good. Um, well, like it's got three Firebrand Archers. It's got... Oh, how many Kenra Scrappers? Okay, I mean, maybe we just win through Kenra Scrappers. I guess I'd auto-pick the Kenra Scrapper. Because I don't remember picking four of these up. Uh, this pack is Garibo for us. <laughs> it's really bad. So, I mean, Nef Crop and Tangra is pretty aggro. And I guess we're looking pretty aggro. This is good with uh, Kenra Scrapper, but I don't know. Is it worth it? Because then he's not going to deal with. Uh, he's never going to get through. Let's take the solid two drop. Oh my god, this. This deck is potentially garbage. It could be a garbage dumpster fire, but. I mean, we've got the play set. Can't be that bad. Counter Scrapper? Counter Scrapper? Counter Scrapper? Counter Scrapper? I mean, he's got Menace. He's gonna be in for some damage. Okay, what do we need here? Um, I mean, the sideboard card. Okay, combat trick. Literally nothing else in this pack for us. I mean, this is kind of good with the Counter Scrappers. Is this any use? Gives Kenra Scrapper haste. Gives this haste. Well, giving that. Well, you can't really do that because then. Yeah. Well, you can do it on turn three. Did I just take this guy? I mean, I guess. Oh, sideboard card. Oh, there's a Magma Spray. At least we got some. I have to pass a Coloss speed here. My spray is pretty sweet though, so we'll take it. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How many non creature spells do we have? I feel like we're just slamming this guy. Yeah, we're slamming that guy. Um, da -da 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 -da. I get, do we have any? No, we don't have any. Splash Black. If we pick up a. Uh, you know, one of the, the cartouches, that'd be pretty sweet. This could get white for us, but I'm not too interested in it. This cycles for one. Cathartic Communion. It's another non creature spell. I'll take that. Or a Tormenting Voice, even. Because we already had two six drops. Ooh, Foil Tormenting Voice? I mean, it's easy upgrade right there. Easy upgrade. Ooh, Spring to Mind? Ah, uh, alright. Probably want to brute strength instead. Just cut these guys. Just play all the counter scrappers, all the combat tricks. Probably don't need two crash trees. We got no deserts. That's a record for the old era of devastation draft. We went dry in the deserts. <laughs> I got more annoyed that I just didn't get to see what was in those packs. Well, I mean, if I had seen it, it would have been worse, right? Because I'm like, no, I want that. Hmm, pressure. 
Look at all these non-creature spells we got. This is pretty sweet. Come on, give us a cartouche here. Ooh, that's basically a cartouche. Ooh, there's an evolving one stuff for the white. And there's this guy as well. All our guys have trample. And he's alright. I kinda like this though. This with this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm just I'm windmill slamming that. And I'm probably cutting a grand titan. I might even cut this as well. But then we only get to play 16 lands. Mm, I know, I know, I needed the white, but I just like this card with, you know, three Firebound Archers and the Menace Guy. Well, the Menace Guy's not pretty, but... We're, we're going aggro here. I'm doing it. Ooh, sideboard card, sideboard card. Can I interest you in a sideboard card? Um, let's take another two drop and cut this. Kind of tempted. <laughs> kind of tempted. Okay, I'm kind of tempted. Ooh, there's a sideboard card. Give me that sideboard card. Get on my deck. Ooh, I kind of wanted that, didn't I? Ooh, that's kind of a good sideboard card. Oh, well, we already have a sideboard card for that, so. Uh, Shed weakness. <laughs> Ooh, give me that Scarab Feast for a standard, <laughs> even though it was never played. Ugh. Terrible. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Ooh, fall there. Get there. Alright. I don't know what this deck is. It's, uh. <laughs> it's probably not my name, but. Do some crazy aggro deck. It's 25 cards? Jesus. Okay, well, we don't. We probably have too many non creature spells. Oh, but that's basically a creature, okay, so that's... And that's basically a creature as well. Okay, so we have 14 creatures. Alright guys, thanks for enjoying the draft, and you'll see all three games tomorrow, so you'll either see me crash and burn or do well. Thanks for watching.